Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna try and clear up something that I didn't think I covered very well in the last video about MPPT and PWM charge controllers. Yeah, I messed up a little bit there. I've, I'm gonna try and explain that a little bit better. But first, a few householding things. First little thing I have here is from Tobias. A good friend Tobias, who's a patron of mine and who I, I have met in person. And um, he has uh, added a letter here. Um, yeah, it's very sweet of him. It's something that I asked him to do, uh, or if he could do it, and he could. I was messing with putting up the, uh, the bus bars in the basement, and I wasn't very happy with using metal tools for that. There were some big nuts that needed tightening, so Tobias has, has, um, has 3D printed this plastic wrench so that I can tighten the nuts on the bus bars and these are beefy so um, very hard plastic uh, they need to be very beefy so that I can tighten those nuts enough and there are different sizes 15 and 13 millimeters and that's the two nut sizes <laughs> that I have on my uh, I, I'm a little bit I don't know what these are they might be this one says 14 and that one says 12. He might. It's um, the wrench was a 3D drawing that we found online or he found online and it came with these uh, and exactly the two numbers that I needed, which were 15 and 13, uh, they hadn't included. So uh, he has had to stretch these so that they would fit. He also sent me this. It's a stand for a tiny Lenovo PC. I don't know. Um, um, yeah, I can definitely tell that this is more solid than this. So uh, I don't usually have my Lenovo PC sitting up right. So where is that? Uh, Tobias left some QR codes. Uh, I think this is if someone else is interested in um, in the stuff. I see the printer files are here, and he apparently has made a little video uh, of uh, of printing them. So that's another QR code for that. So uh, thank you very much, Tobias. Second package is also for me, but this is uh, somewhat of a of a first for me. They're kind of sending me like a New Year's gift. The problem is though, we haven't actually collaborated yet. We are planning to, but we haven't done it yet. So the, it's a very nice thing, I must admit. Uh, here is the box and they send a very nice, um, very nice letter of, um, of um, thank you for all the great work we've done together. A bit soon, a bit soon. And the company is called RoboUp and they do uh, robot lawnmowers and they want me to review their robot lawnmower and I have agreed on that but well at the moment there's not much grass that needs cutting here it's winter and freezing it's 2.9 degrees outside I can see that on the thermometer from here so um, it's it's a bit weird to get a gift from someone you haven't worked with so but it's very nice they have sent me a um, it's a wooden calendar so um, ooh, come on. so you can put that on there and there is a little there's a little wooden stick that you can put in the back here and the wooden calendar there and you can you can take this This out of the plastic. There we can put those on there. And we have a little wooden calendar, and they are of course promoting themselves. Can put it on the table like that. So a very sweet thing. <laughs> then um, a little bit more doubtful, <laughs> they they have they uh, have added a a box of Lego set, but I can tell from far away that this is not. It's uh, it's Chinese Lego. It's not. 
it's not Danish Lego. So they're sending me not real Lego to the land of Lego. So um, that's a funny thing. Um, but that's apparently what the robot lawnmower looks like. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to that. It's a really smart lawnmower. It can do a lot of stuff that my, uh, my lawnmower that I have right now cannot do. Let's get that out of the way and uh, get on to what this video is really about. This is a cheap PWM charge controller. And it's awesome. Everybody will tell you that you need an MPPT charge controller. And in very many regards, that is true. But there is some use cases where a PWM charge controller will do the job just as well. If you're gonna build a big system, this won't do it. Uh, if you wanna do high power, high voltage, high anything, well, MPPT is the way to go. But if you need a tiny system, I've done a few tiny system where this PWM charge controller will do just fine and to a fraction of the price of an MPPT charge controller. And for that amount of money that I'm saving on getting the cheap charge controller, I can get more solar panels and get way higher efficiency than if I got an MPPT charge controller. So um, I am gonna I'm gonna share some of that with you. Just look at what the artists have done. This is fantastic. It doesn't get any more pretty than this. <laughs> so this is a PWM system and this is an MPPT system. And the difference between the two systems is how they um, how they handle the solar panels and charge the batteries. The rest, all the, the measuring of amps and blah, 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 doesn't really matter much. The PWM charge controller needs panel voltages that are closer to the battery than what an MPPT charge controller can handle. So this setup is perfect for small systems. I've done a number of tiny systems that just do a simple little job. In Portugal, my uh, internet station on my mountain is a PWM charge controller. I have done a solar setup for an electric fence, which were also a PWM charge controller. And I've done a small system for a water pump, which were also this system. If you're building a little system that will run from 12 volt, you can use a PWM charge controller. How you do that is added three solar panels to this so that we can get a little bit more power. And these are 18 volts, one amp, just to make the math simple. So um, I have put all of these in parallel and that will give me 18 volts, three amps, because the voltage stay the same and the amperage goes up. In this case, we get 54 watts. So we'll make this a multiply and that will equal 54 watts. And that goes into the charge controller. And how the charge controller works is that it will uh, pull that power down. And the only way it can do that is to connect the solar panels directly to the battery. And the battery will pull the power of the solar panels down. Then when the charge controller feels that the battery is getting close to be uh, at an over voltage, it will cut it off again. That means that when the battery is not being charged anymore, the voltage will go down the battery. The charge controller will feel that and it will turn on charging again and it will pull the solar panels down again. And then the voltage becomes too high on the battery and it will turn on and off and on and off. And that will, it will charge up. If the battery is not near full, it will be able to take all the power from the solar panels and it will just be charging all the time. But when it nears being fully charged, it will turn on and off a lot to get the, the last little bit of power in there uh, without damaging the battery. So that's, that's how this works. For small systems, this is perfectly good. And 
I would say better than MPPT because on MPPT you pay a lot of extra money that you don't actually get your value for um, in a small system. In a big system, that's the way to go. But for a system that just needs to charge a 12 volt battery, you need this. If you have like big solar panels, like the ones that you put on your roof of your house, you won't be able to get those uh, running on 18 volts. They would be something like 38 volts each. And um, you can use a PWM charge controller for solar panels with 38 volts. You can just not use it for 12 volt. In that case, you need to go up to 24 volts. If you have a 24 volt battery down here, you can um, go up to uh, 46 volts on the panel voltages, but you would very quickly run into the limit of how many watts the solar charge controller can handle. Because uh, when you go up to 24 volts, big solar panels, well, this is a better option. But you can and it's possible and it will work just fine. If you design the system correct, have a 24 volt battery here, has three panels of 38 volts instead of 18 volts, well, it will do the same thing. Your little light bulb here, which is the load, uh, will, will be able to work. But in a 24 volt system, you need a 24 volt light bulb as well, because then the load will also be 24 volts. So over here, we have the MPPT charge controller, and it does it a little bit differently. Um, it is able to take in a higher voltage than what it's charging the battery with. So this is a 12 volt battery, but I've taken these 18 volt cells and I put them in series instead of parallel, which they were over here. So in, the, in this setup, we get higher voltage, but the amps stay the same. That's the difference between series and parallel with solar panels. So when we put them in series, the voltage goes up and when we put them in parallel, the amperage goes up. So we have one amp on each of these uh, solar panels and we have 18 volts and that becomes volts, one amp. And the charge controller will take that voltage and it will make it into 12 volt. For this setup, I would probably go with the other solution just because uh, this charge controller is more expensive. And instead of getting this more expensive charge controller, I could purchase one more panel here and with one more panel I would get more power and I would get more power than this would uh, be better than the other system. This uh, white bowl is from Ikea, it has a backside as well and, and as I'm gonna tell you how it works on the backside of the, of the system, <laughs> that's very convenient. So we have um, 18 volt panels here and with a PWM system we only have an on-off switch and it's a MOSFET, that uh, MOSFET. We have a controller that controls this on-off action. So when uh, the battery becomes near full, it will turn it off and then it will measure the voltage again and then the battery will drop and it will turn it on again and it will get a little bit more of power and it will turn it off again and it will um, drop in voltage and it goes forth and back and turns on and off the load as needed. So at the end, it will be off more than it's on. And at the end, it will just be off. Uh, whereas with the MPPT charge controller, uh, we have the solar panel DC to DC step down converter. And this is variable. It can figure out, um, it can measure the, the wattage coming in here. So it sees uh, this wattage, it can vary the power that it's, that it's taking in here. So this can go from 54 volts, one amp. It could also go down and say, oh, we get better amperage at 38 volts. And so it can drag the power down to 38 volts and, and some amp. That's one of the P's in the name that it finds the best point where there is most wattage and it sends that to the battery. It will convert the 54 volts one amp to uh, whatever this battery needs. And in this case, it's a 12 volt battery. 
MPPT can do this by finding out at which voltage uh, it can deliver the most amps, the most power. But if you have enough voltage over here, let's say 120 volts, you could do 12 volt 10 amps over here. And that's where the MPPT charge controller shines. It can take very high voltages and make them low voltages, but more amps. So for a house system or any high voltage system where you have panels that gives out high voltage, well, MPPT is definitely the way to go. But for tiny little systems that runs off a 12 volt battery or a 24 volt battery, PWM controllers will do a marvelous job instead of spending like this is, you can get these down to $5 and the cheapest MPPT charge controller is at least $40, $50 and for that amount of money you're better off getting one more solar panel. I found good use cases for these small setups. Making smaller setups instead of making one big setup is sometimes pretty smart. Like the setups that I've done in Portugal and also out here in my garden I have my robot lawnmower that is running off of solar and it also just uses a tiny little setup with an PWM charge controller, a battery, and then powering the robot. And as I said, in Portugal, I have an internet relay station on a mountain that is also running this way. A, a tiny little PWM charge controller, battery, and uh, then some electronics that needs the power. Thank you very much for watching my video. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.